Hi, welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 5-21 from R.C. Hibbeler, Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the horizontal and vertical components of reaction at the pin A and the tension developed in cable BC that is used to support the steel frame. Now to solve this problem, first of all, we have to draw all the forces and the support reactions. So our first force is the tensile force due to the cable BC. Let's call this FBC. Also, it would be better if we resolve this force into its components. So this force has one vertical component and one horizontal component. Now we can see this 3, 4, 5 triangle. So using this 3, 4, 5 triangle, we can find the angle. Let's call this angle theta and this theta and this angle theta can be found using the trig trigonometric ratios. So tan theta is equals to opposite that is 3 over the adjacent that is 4. So from here theta comes out to be 36.87 degrees and this angle right here is also theta. So this component the horizontal component is FBC sine theta and the vertical component is FBC cos theta. Now we have some support reactions at pin A. So I have one horizontal support reaction and one vertical support reaction. Let's call this AX and this is AY. Now we can apply the equations of the equilibrium. So our first equation would be summation of moments at point A equals to zero. I'm considering counterclockwise direction as positive. And why I have selected this point A? Because at point A, I have maximum numbers of unknown. So here, starting from this external moment that is in clockwise direction, so it would be taken as negative 30 kilonewton meter. This 60 kilonewton force is trying to rotate the steel frame in clockwise direction about point A. So the moment produced by this force would be taken as negative. And the moment arm is one meter. AX and AY will not produce any moment about point A because they are passing through it. The horizontal component of FBC force is trying to rotate the frame in counterclockwise direction. So the moment produced by this force would be taken as positive. Theta is 36.87 degrees. And the moment arm is this 3 meter distance. Also, the vertical component is also trying to rotate the frame in counterclockwise direction. So the moment produced by this force component would also be taken as positive. It's cos. 36.87 degrees and the moment arm is also 1 meter equals to 0. Now from this equation if you simplify it the force FBC comes out to be 34,000 
615.4 newtons or 34.62 kilonewtons. This is our one answer, one of the answers. Now we have to find the values of Ax and Ay. So our second equation would be summation of forces in x direction equals to 0. I am considering right hand side as positive. So we have Ax minus the horizontal component of FBC force that is FBC sin theta. So FBC is 3400 615.4 newtons and sine of 36.87 degrees equals to 0. So from here Ax comes out to be 20,770 newtons or 20.8 kilonewtons. This is our second answer. Now we have to find the value of Ay. So our third equation would be summation of forces in y direction equals to 0. I am considering up direction as positive. So we have Ay minus this 60 kN force that is acting in the opposite direction. So 60 exponent 3 and the vertical component of FBC force. FBC is 34,615.4 and cos of 36.87 degrees. equals to 0. So from here after simplification Ay comes out to be 87,692.3 newtons or 87.7 kilonewtons. So this is our third answer. this is it for this problem i hope you will find this video helpful if you do please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates and if you have any questions or any or any doubts about these solutions then feel free to ask in the comment section and i will answer it as soon as possible also i already have solved some more problems of hebeler chapter 5 equilibrium of rigid body and I will provide the link in the description so go check it out as well those problems might help you as well thank you